Every day in America, about 100 people are diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, but there appears to be a gender gap. That's right, boys are diagnosed about four times more than girls. Megan Shin takes a look at the reasons why. Well, autism is the fastest growing serious developmental disability in our country, but for some reason, girls are diagnosed an average of two years later than boys. Tonight, we're speaking with one mom on the challenging journey to get her daughter diagnosed. <laughs> Just like any kid, <laughs> four-year-old Holly is as unique as the music she creates on the playground. She is smart and social. <laughs> She has a lot of interests like ballet, energetic. Um, she likes going for hikes. But if you watch her interaction, oh, Holly, Holly. you'll notice she's a little different. She was having some language difficulties. That was kind of the first thing that I noticed. Holly's mom, Jennifer, says her daughter has other challenges too. Her resistance to change in routines but there were a lot of meltdowns where she would have like 45 minutes screaming and crying. Oh, there's your timer. More time, please. Jennifer noticed the signs two years ago. She put together 100-piece puzzles when she was two years old. What's your last name? Charlotte. When I started taking her to doctor's appointments, um, a lot of them, you know, they acknowledged that, yes, she seemed to have a language delay, but there were a lot of other behaviors going on that led me to believe that it was something else. What's that? She suspected autism, but it was tough to get a doctor to agree. What I had to do was find a clinical psychologist who was aware of the gender differences with autism. I think even in the medical community, people think about autism spectrum disorder more related to boys than girls. Pediatricians at CHKD say without extreme disabilities, <laughs> autism is tough to diagnose. It's a challenge because when you look at the diagnostic criteria that we all learn and everyone's using when they're evaluating children with autism, they're mainly based on studies of boys. Awesome. Girls can camouflage their symptoms easily. Oh, you pick it up. I worry about these little girls who are just like, oh, they're, they're so good, they're so quiet. I actually don't like hearing that. We are big girls. Boys with autism tend to be shy. Yeah. Which most people see as unusual boy behavior, while the same behavior in girls can be stereotyped as ordinary. You might have a girl who you think is typically developing and she seems to be okay socially. But CHKD clinical psychologist Janice Keener says misconceptions are leading to misdiagnosis. Sometimes autism in girls is labeled as other illnesses like anorexia or OCD. Half the girls who end up being diagnosed have been overlooked and given ADHD or anxiety. But it takes someone outside the hospital noticing the disorder first. Unless you really get in there and start asking them these probing questions that we typically don't in a clinical setting or in a school setting, really. As for Jennifer, during her research to diagnose Holly, she found a second surprise. And then that led me to, um, to realized that not only was she autistic, but I was autistic too. It describes a lot of like what I did through my life. I was very studious as a, as a child though, I was selectively mute. She says her diagnosis hasn't held her back and believes research on autism in females will eventually catch up. There does need to be a lot more awareness and, and acceptance of you know um, autism. <laughs> and the, the wide spectrum that it, that it includes. <laughs> Megan Shin, 13 News Now.